When you think of Crohn's disease, think of a cytokine fire, and the key arsonist is your TNF-alpha. This powerful inflammatory molecule fuels your granuloma formation, transmural inflammation, and the devastating bowel damage we see in Crohn's. But there's a fix. The anti-TNF agents like infliximab turn off the fire hose. They're targeted therapies that bind TNF-alpha, and they shut down the inflammatory cascade, and it makes them the first line for Crohn's disease. So the big things we got to look out for in Crohn's disease are going to be, it's going to extend from the mouth to the anus, and the rectum will be spared. You'll also have skip lesions. You're going to see non-caseating granulomas. Grossly, you see the creeping fat, you see the cobblestoning, and you're also going to see some, some diarrhea. It could be bloody if it's colitis. And you could see some fistulae, some strictures, and some abscesses. So tumor necrosis factor alpha is an inflammatory cytokine that is produced by the macrophages, and it's going to be huge in, in Crohn's disease. Just going to be all this intestinal inflammation inducing your lymphocyte proliferation. That almost sounds like a wrap or something. Stimulating your macrophage activity. So practice question, young adult diarrhea, weight loss, transmural inflammation. Now, do you think of Crohn's disease? Which molecule should therapy target? It's going to be the TNF-alpha, so we can reduce that inflammation. So think infliximab, adalimumab. These are going to be your first-line therapies. BCR-ABL, that's seen in your chronic myeloid leukemia. For that one, we're going to use imatinib. It's going to be your uh, CML. is going to be your 922 translocation, and it leads to the creation of your BCR and ABL fusion. CD20, that's uh, rituximab's target. It's going to be used in rheumatoid arthritis and lymphomas, not your Crohn's. mTOR, that's going to be serolimus uh, for organ transplant immunosuppression. And PD1, that's for cancer immunotherapy. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. If this is helpful, like and subscribe.